FMS, Corsair, and Tiger Cat, the big one, 1700 millimeter. Both great planes. A little different. You know, the Corsair, a lot of power, but slower. Real neat presence in the air, and everybody recognizes it. The Tiger Cat, a little different, a little faster. Uh, both have their pros and cons that I kind of talk about during the flights. I do uh, take off some touch and go, some flying around, and just kind of in the end kind of review what I think of both of them. Wonderful planes. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. I appreciate it. Enjoy. He's up on the throttle. Okay. Super easy to take off, no issues. The Corsair requires some attention on takeoff for sure. Not the best takeoff I've had. What a great big bird. Flies similar to the Corsair, but a little faster. I think I want to dial up the rates a little bit more. Get the roll a little bit better. But looks great in the air. Fast, like I said, I think she's, right now here I'm flying probably two thirds throttle. And she's flying probably as full out on the Corsair. Got a 5,000 milliamp in her. Full throttle, big loop. If you like the content, like and subscribe. Makes me feel good about the time I'm putting in making the videos. Got her at a uh, swap meet. Definitely need to feed in a little rudder on these slower speeds on the turns or else she just kind of, the tail get kind of droopy. Doesn't look as cool. A little bit more to coordinate. <laughs> Might get me in trouble. I'm not careful. It's All right, going to punch her full throttle here, right here, full throttle, straight up, roll over my typical split S, rotate over towards the runway. This is a completely stock configuration. One of the guys at the field was commenting on how flying the, my Mustang and how the reaction time with that is so different than this guy and yeah he's hit it spot on <laughs> this guy he almost could be kind of a sloth it uh is definitely not a plane that requires you to be on the edge of your seat it's actually a little bit more of a relaxing flyer Here we go, gonna go up, vertical. And... There we go. Just gonna do a 
Nice little stall turn, but instead did a stall flop. Back down to about two thirds throttle. Might do a touch and go. I haven't landed her in a while. Gonna give half lap, back off the throttle, gear. And about three-quarter throttle. And even three-quarter throttle gives you plenty of vertical. I mean, it's not unlimited for sure. But it's pretty good. All right, I'm going to do a touch and go here. Half. And got a little too much altitude. Hopefully I can drop some of that without causing an issue. Give it a little bit more flap, full flap. It's going to be a touch and go way down. Get a little more throttle, a little more throttle. Full flap, half throttle. <clears throat> Try to get her in for a good landing. One third throttle, quarter throttle, keep the nose down. A little hard. That's a little harder than I would have liked, but not too bad. That modulating that throttle on the descent to get the ideal descent rate. Probably could have given her a little bit more and give her a chance to slow down. Wonderful flyer, no doubt about it. Okay, gonna go half throttle, got full flaps. Gonna get that nice shallow descent. Cut throttle. Work that rudder. She is a tail dragger, so you gotta know how to work that rudder. There she is. Bring her back. Very relaxing plane. The size is intimidating, but I just find that it's just not a hard plane to fly. All right, in the end, Corsair, great plane. Uh, not super fast, but fast enough, scale enough. Uh, wonderful plane. Tiger Cat, a lot faster, a little bit more maneuverable. I will say the Tiger Cat landing gears are, are a little more complex, so there's things that will go wrong with them. But either way, yeah, I'm glad I have both planes. They're a lot of fun to fly and a real crowd pleaser at the field. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.